we'll be discussing cardiac arrest in children and infants. First, we'll look at how to recognize cardiac arrest. Unlike cardiac arrest in adults, which is commonly due to coronary syndrome, cardiac arrest in pediatric patients is more commonly the consequences of respiratory failure or shock. Here is a chart of reversible causes of cardiac arrest. When recognizing cardiopulmonary failure, assess the airway, breathing, circulation, disabilities, and exposure. Recognize arrest rhythms, including asystole, pulseless electrical activity, ventricular fibrillation, and pulseless ventricular tachycardia. Next we'll discuss PEA, V-fib, and VTAC. PEA and asystole are related cardiac rhythms and that they are both life-threatening and not shockable. They do not respond to defibrillation. Asystole is the absence of electrical or mechanical cardiac rhythm and is represented by a flat-line ECG. PEA does not have a detectable pulse. VFib and VTAC are life-threatening and shockable cardiac rhythms that result in ineffective ventricular contractions. VFib is a rapid quivering of the ventricles instead of a forceful contraction and is not synchronized with atrial contractions. Pulseless VTAC occurs when the rapidly contracting ventricles are not pumping blood sufficiently to create a palpable pulse. In both, patients are not receiving adequate perfusion. Respond with the pediatric cardiac arrest algorithm. Activate emergency response, start CPR, give oxygen, and attach the monitor and defibrillator. If there is a shockable rhythm, VF or VT, administer shock, do CPR for two minutes, obtain IV or IO access, and check again for a shockable rhythm. If yes, administer shock. Immediately perform CPR for two minutes while administering epinephrine every three to five minutes. Consider placing an advanced airway and monitoring via capnography. Reassess for a shockable rhythm. If yes, administer shock, do CPR for two minutes, administer aminodarone, and treat reversible causes, H's and T's. If there was not a shockable rhythm, proceed down to the other side of the algorithm. If there was not an initial shockable rhythm, asystole or PAA, perform CPR for two minutes while obtaining IV access, administer epinephrine every three to five minutes, and consider placing an advanced airway and monitoring via capnography. Reassess for a shockable rhythm. If yes, go to five or seven. If not, continue to perform CPR for two minutes and treat reversible causes, H's and T's. Then check for a shockable rhythm again. Review CPR quality, shock energy, return of spontaneous circulation advanced airway, drug therapy, and reversible causes table for additional information. That's all for cardiac arrest. Our last section will discuss post-resuscitation care. Thank you.